guys, so this is gonna be my review of the non-dairy beverage alternative, as it's called, or non-dairy milk. And it's the brand called Almond Bliss. So this brand just hit my local grocery store probably about a month ago. So I have had about a month to test these products out. And let me say, definitely worth making a review on these products. So I had a real issue with finding a an almond milk that tasted good. All the almond milks that they sold at my stores all had this weird cardboardy aftertaste that just really put me off because it was a really overpowering taste and my kids wouldn't even drink it because it tasted so weird. I don't know what it is that they put in there that made it taste like that, but it was really lame because if I made almond milk at home, it wouldn't have this weird taste. So I was like, okay, well this sucks. I have to just make homemade almond milk now or homemade cashew milk, whatever. So I just basically didn't buy almond milk from the store because I just couldn't get used to that cardboard aftertaste. Thankfully, this stuff does not have this cardboard aftertaste. It's a really smooth taste. It tastes very similar to the almond milk that you would make yourself at home. It doesn't have any kind of aftertaste in my opinion. It just tastes like a really smooth, creamy almond milk. It's not too sweet. And the ingredients are super simple. It is just almond beverage, which is water and almonds, cane sugar, tricalcium phosphate, which is cal like a calcium supplement, sea salt, and gel and gum. And that's it. And I like that there's very little ingredients and the ingredients are very simple. I'm just really, really happy with this particular brand of almond milk. And the only kind of slight downside of it is that it is a bit more expensive than the other brands of almond milk. It is, I think it was $5.75 Canadian for a 1.42 liter jug. And this does not last very long. So yes, it is more money, but in my opinion, it's worth the money because my kids actually will drink this milk and have it with their cereal and stuff like that. And I enjoy drinking the milk as well. Okay, so now on to my favorite Almond Bliss iced coffee. So basically it's all the same ingredients as the almond milk, only they put coffee extract in it. I absolutely am in love with this iced coffee. It's convenient. It's fast. Um, I work really early morning shifts. I have to be at work at five in the morning. So I usually my mornings are just really rushed and I usually don't have time to make myself a cup of coffee. Also, I was making my own non-dairy creamer, which was kind of the pain in the butt, just having to make it every few days. And now I don't have to worry about that at all because all this requires is opening it up and pouring it in a glass and it's instant and it's ready. And it's my morning coffee and I don't have to worry about it. Also, this only has seven grams of sugar per cup, which in my opinion isn't very much sugar because I like my coffee sweet normally. I will usually put three or more teaspoons of sugar in a cup of regular coffee that I would drink. So that's like 15 to 20 grams of sugar right there, whereas this only has about seven. So I'm cutting my refined sugar intake in half with this as well, which I also found quite awesome. It's not super sweet tasting, it just has a bit of a mild sweetness, but because the coffee here isn't super bitter or super strong, it's just a really well-balanced flavor, I find. So yeah, I am absolutely in love with this. I have been drinking this every morning for a month straight. I love it, it's not too much caffeine in here. It doesn't give you the jitters and make you feel all just like psycho if you drink too much coffee. It has just the perfect amount of coffee in it for me. So I am just absolutely thrilled with this brand. Like I am not sponsored by them at all. They're not paying me to do a review for this. It's just something that I found in my grocery store. I'm just really happy that it's actually palatable. Um, unlike a lot of other non-dairy beverages, unfortunately. But this one, definitely worth giving a try. If you see it in your stores, I would highly recommend giving it a go. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.